Well, hello everybody, and welcome to PC Shed. My name is Sergio, and I thought I'd just do a little video. And unfortunately, I'm at home, so I've got my daughter and my boy. So if there's background noise or anything like that, I apologise in advance. So the purpose of this video is, as you can hear, my boy at the back, is to uh, just get rid of all of this. So as you know, we've been folding at home uh, for Stanford University on the one, um, one in a million uh, campaign and for the last year we kind of accumulated quite a lot of parts so what we have here behind is virtually what I need to shift and raise more funds for a more uh, longer term a dedicated folding rig so as you can see behind me lots of graphics cards uh, seven GTX 1080s. Uh, so we've got uh, three KF82s, GTX 1080s Hall of Fame. Oh, you've dropped it. And hopefully you won't make too much noise. Uh, she's not been well, so. Uh, we also have two AVGS classifiers, 1080 GTXs. We've got two MSI uh, GTX uh, 1080s uh, Seahawk uh, EKX. Uh, just behind there, we've got three uh, Gigabyte uh, G1s 980Ti's, two are with the EK water block and one is normally air cooled. Uh, motherboards front and galore, so pretty much all the way back to the Z97, we've got an Asus Maximus formula and that also has a 4790K CPU, which is an i7. Uh, moving on, we also have an EVGA Z170 classified motherboard, which is a four-way SLI, so a really special board. You can't find it anywhere, really. And I also have a, a i7 6700K. Uh, right at the back, I've got two Aces X99 Rampage Extreme, one standard version, and the other version is a USB 3.1. And for the AMD lovers out there, we've got the Aces Crosshair Formula Z. There you yeah. go. Yay. Um, and that comes with a 9590 8-core CPU. Uh, the most updated version, and I was going to replace my system with this, is the Asus Maximus uh, iX Formula motherboard on the Z270 uh, chipset. And that, <laughs> that has a very special chip. Uh, this is, I've been looking for this a long time, and it's probably only 5% in the world that actually have this. And this is the 70, uh, 7700K that's been specially been delidded by Silicon Lottery on Houston, Texas, and guaranteed to work at 5 gigahertz yeah. plus. And the temperatures has dropped to around 25 degrees from stock. Uh, so, yeah, very special chip. Um, so, there you are. Um, for those that have been following us, um, our, we've done several experiments in regards to folding your home and we are part of the custom PC and Bitec folding team. Uh, we've been, you know, pretty much every month been uh, listed on the magazine. They actually done an interview with us, which we now see. And you keep dropping your teddy, eh? Keep dropping your teddy. I don't know why. Looking yourself in the camera. Um, so. Overall, uh, this is the accumulation of um, about a year's worth of uh, products, so I invested a lot of money. But what I wanted to do, uh, because we do about four months of solid folding, 24 hours a day, with the help of some friends, uh, especially Richard, the founder of PC Shed, uh, and he's continuing folding. Um, uh, thank you. So. Um, the actual uh, plan is instead of doing four months stint, then get more funds to pay for electricity, is to do a dedicated uh, folding rig which we can fold at longer terms, six months, 12 months. Uh, we've done okay. We're on the almost top 500 in the world, um, considering there's been 1.8 million at some point folded for Stanford University. Um, and we are currently on within the team, PC, uh, Custom PC and Bitech, we're number 21. Uh, when we started with them, we're like 9,000 place. And production-wise, to give you an idea of 
uh, that uh, how much we have achieved. Um, we made into the top 100 in the world for the contributions last month. Uh, we did over a thousand plus uh, work units and that generated around 75 million points. The highest that we actually achieved was um, around 84 million and well, that was insane. We had about 19 GPUs when we started and using server so it wasn't efficient so this time around a lot more efficient uh, believe it or not for the last four months we used uh, four cars uh, and we didn't even draw over 900 watts uh, 24 hours a day running costs that's the thing the running costs um, is the big factor for me uh, I can get parts like these um, I know the sites that I can get them quite cheaply but it's the long-term running that I want to uh, concentrate on. So you will see these for sale on our eBay site, uh, PC Shed Tech, um, within the week. Uh, I spent virtually all day, you probably uh, check the video on our Twitter uh, account and you'll see that uh, uh, I was in the process of stripping some systems um, and that's the result of it, um, well, some of it, and there's still more. Um, on top of this, there's a lot of cases, cases, power supplies, hard drives, SSDs, DDR3, DDR4 modules, uh, water cooling parts, uh, GPU blocks, CPU blocks, radiators, fan galore. So yeah, it's going to take me a while to list all that, but I'm having a proper, proper clear out because I want to ensure that I have as much funding as I can. Um, for um, the dedicated rig, I am using a, a a Bitcoin frame, normally designed for Bitcoin farming, and I'm modifying that to run with two motherboards and supplying with eight GPUs, and that's going to be all water cooled, so there'll be virtually um, not a lot of noise, and also uh, will help me to overclock the cards safely. Uh, give me a, a better performance uh, when I'm actually using the folding diet. Um, for those that don't know what folding is, please check at um, Stanford University Folding at Home project. Uh, it's uh, a fantastic uh, project uh, for a really good cause. Um, I, this year I've lost my father to uh, cancer. Um, which was uh, stage four lung cancer. And a lot of this uh, research is to help find cures for lung cancer, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's disease. Um, this year has been one of the biggest successes. Um, just back in March, we made national news here in the UK that due to the research done on protein folding, um, where are you going? Um, that uh, they found Christie's Hospital in Manchester actually done a trial with a gentleman oh, locally yeah. to my area uh, who was diagnosed with um, a lung cancer stage 4 which lifespan is between 3 and 4 months without any treatment or therapy and this uh, trial that he took um, concentrated on a specific protein that not everybody has within their body uh, but with a uh, combination of uh, drugs, a uh, cocktail of drugs, pills and injections that it actually uh, makes the body aware of the cancer and the body itself repairs itself. And I think it's gone through the trial and the cancer slowly starts disappearing and um, he's doing really well. He made national news. I'm not surprised it's not been a bigger thing uh, on the PC folding community. Uh, but there you are. So, as you know, I love tech and uh, I've got a young family. I've got my six-year-old boy who I just introduced this year to PC gaming on Minecraft and uh, no, don't touch the keyboard. I know what you want and I've got this little rascal, so that's why I'm doing this. So it's a bit off the cuff. Oh no! Yeah, she loves watching herself. Um, so yeah, so there you are. So if you have any questions in regards to folding your home, uh, either you want to start it uh, for your own cause or join our team, please, please go to Stanford University Folding Your Home website. Uh, they're running uh, the one in a million. There's about 100,000 
active people. Uh, like I said, at one point or another, there was about 1.8 million that folded through the years, but currently it's uh, about 100,000. They're trying to get down to a million, and I'm just happy to be part of that fantastic cause uh, because the results is, uh, will be phenomenal if we can actually crack and beat this uh, diseases that are out there affecting thousands of people. So there you are. So a little short um, podcast, if you call it. Uh, but I just uh, like to show. Oh, there's my boy. Come here. You're live at the moment. How are you? Good. Yeah. So you've been playing Minecraft, haven't you? Yeah, I did. I got PC. You're not PC. The water cool PC. Yeah. Is that your first PC? Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh god. So now we got two. Oh god. So jealous now. All right. So here we are. That's my little family. And uh, the missus is somewhere, and I don't think she wants to be live on YouTube, does she? No. You have your own channel now, haven't you? So I have been um, persuaded, shall I say, to uh, create a, a channel for Romeo. So he's got a channel called uh, Super Romeo TV, uh, where he's been kind of logging his adventures through all sorts, but also... He wants to upload some gameplay of Minecraft. So, yeah. So, if you're wondering why I haven't uploaded a lot of stuff, uh, one, because of my father passing away, dealing with that, but also spending a lot, a lot of time um, with my own family and uh, having a bit of a connection now that now he's introduced uh, my son to uh, PC gaming and PC building as well, because he helped me build it, didn't you? Yeah. yeah, cool. Right, so like I said, any questions at all uh, in regards to folding your home, uh, PC building, overclocking, but especially water cooling, that's what I'm very passionate about, so getting as much performance out of PC parts um, yeah. without costing you an arm and a leg. And of course, quite excitement uh, coming up with Volta coming out, uh, Vega, and see what that brings out. You've got the new Intel motherboards and the i9s, and then you've got the rip threader from AMD. So yeah, all good stuff coming up. So hopefully you'll catch us up uh, this week on Friday on our Tech Talk at 9 p.m. with uh, AJ Atomica, another YouTuber, which I collaborate, collaborate with. Uh, he wasn't available uh, this uh, Friday just passed, so uh, AKA Richard, the uh, CEO of PC Shed, joined us, and that was quite a, a laugh. I kind of dragged it a little bit, kind of almost two hours. It was like, this guy can talk forever, but uh, like me. So, on that note, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you found this useful. Okay, bye!